Use the e collar to teach my dog impulse control. Let's jump on that. I have the Mini Educator 300. This is something that he's familiar with, but I'm gonna show you guys. And guess what? I have not worked him for a while. So he's gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna show you how I fix them. The dog wants to do something. So in this instance, chase the ball. And then he's not gonna be able to chase the ball until I release him to go get the ball. You gotta wait until I tell you to go get it. This is something you should teach your dog so you have more control and your dog focuses, focuses on you more. Sometimes your dogs, new dogs, when you move the ball like this, you see how he did it? Ah, he'll sit. So he needs practice. So when I move the ball like this, he's anticipating to go after it. Stay. Go get it. Good boy. Bring. Good boy. Good boy. Come. Bring. Yes. Tell him to come in one last time. Especially for a new dog. Remind them. Stay. Or if you don't, you stay. Just tell him to sit. Stay. Give him time. Ah, sit. Sit. So I haven't used the e-collar at all. I'm just using verbal commands to correct them. Go get it. Come, go over here. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. But, so I'm going to play with him and make and make it fun for him, this game. Make it fun. Out. Yes. Good boy. Go toss the ball. He doesn't move. Good. Sit. I eat collar. Sit. Good. I fixed that, right? He got up. I didn't tell him to get up. I hold it for a count. And then go get it. Go. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm going to demonstrate standing, right? He's standing. Uh, wait. Or stay. Go get it. And that's how you start teaching your dog impulse control using e collar. If you're in New York area, Poughkeepsie, Dutchess County, Westchester, and you really need help with your dog, I'm the answer for you. I am going to offer you a free consultation. We'll be able to start helping your dog today by going forward and making that appointment. Talk to you guys soon. Click that link.